subscribe to our YouTube channel and press the bell icon to get the latest updates. Hello and welcome to the Print and Snehish Alex Philip. Earlier in December 2020, the Navy, that is the Indian Navy, ordered for the Israeli Smash 2000 plus system to tackle drones and there are more contracts in the offing. Now, this is the Smash 2000 is actually a cutting edge fire and control systems that tackle drone threats from close range besides of course improving the soldier's accuracy and speed of hitting targets but what exactly is the smash 2000 plus and to answer that question i have with me uh, dr abraham mezo the smart shooter vice president business development and marketing and also a board member and besides him we have the smart shooters vice president in charge of research and development that is mr sharon aloni welcome to the uh, welcome to print both of you thank you thank very you. much we are honored to be this interview thank you so much it's an honor for me uh, to begin with what exactly is a smash 2000 plus Uh, let me say first why do we need it and then i will explain what that means with my colleague uh, sharon the existing battlefield is becoming more and more complex because in most cases it is highly popular with innocent people and you have to be very precise to be able to hit the legitimate target and not standing by innocent people and also protect your soldier now what we have seen in the last 20 years is basically all the weapon artillery missile came to be very precise which allow the operator to hit precisely the only target that he is looking for to hit except rifle it's amazing only rifle still statistic you fire thousands of fire of round maybe you may hit 5% 2%. The situation is even more complex in the real battlefield because the operator in the real battlefield is under high stress physical mental no any training can simulate this situation. So what's happening even in the battlefield in the real combat the efficiency the effectiveness of the weapon is going down down no training can overcome this problem and this is where we are smash came to overcome this deficiency what we like to do in the with the smash like in the missile everything is technology the soldier has only to decide which target he wants to hit and to be able to hit whatever the conditions behind He is not affected by the shooter. This is the main, main substance of what we are doing, and we call it fire control system. Sharon, so you know, correct me. Uh, you know, just to uh, understand, you said the soldier has to decide who or what it wants to shoot, and the smash system actually calculates uh, and does the precise shooting for the soldier. Uh, for the soldier. exactly basically the soldier has to take two responsibility one to decide which target is a legitimate target that he wants to hit second that he wants to hit that target is not automatic from here on everything is technology we are not dependent on the shooter we don't care who is the shooter we don't care if we are dealing with a good or weak shooter it's not an issue anymore technology can to overcome these deficiencies that's brilliant uh, so mr aloni if you could explain how does it work okay so basically as, as mentioned smash is is what we call a fire con- control system it's not just a plain sight and uh, the heart of the system is using computer vision and very highly advanced computer vision algorithms to both be able to detect to lock and to track targets inside the field of view now what you see from the soldier perspective is is sort of augmented reality we put symbology in in front of his eyes to help him identify exactly what 
target uh, is, he is looking at. And once he decides that the target in the field of view is the one that he is interested in, uh, we come, we take action, meaning that we lock on that target, we keep tracking it all the time, and we, we compensate and calculate all the ballistic information inside the system itself. And the, the soldier pulls the trigger, but we will only fire the round when, at the right time and at the right place to uh, make that first shot count. We see a lot of issues today in the battlefield that the, the targets or the enemy is very limited in time. You have a very short time to hit it, so you have to be very accurate. So the main goal of, of, the, of the company itself is what we call one shot, one hit, meaning you only have sort of a very, very limited uh, window in time to be able to hit the target. So you want to be sure that this first shot uh, actually hits. So that's the main idea. Um, basically, we're, uh, we are looking into two worlds coming into one, meaning one is the, what, what I mentioned is the highly advanced algorithms in the computer vision. And on the second hand, it has to be very light, uh, very tough, meaning we are dealing with infantry, infantry soldiers. Uh, it has to go through all the military standards procedures. It had to, has to withstand temperature and shock and uh, dust and everything else and be light, cost effective, and be able to uh, hit the target when, when needed. So uh, I would like to mention too, with the open mission, very important point, I would say, uh, looking at the benefit of the smash one, what we call first round hit. Because if you miss the first, all the scenario is different. So don't talk to me about the probability, 70%, 60%, it's not the issue. The issue is the first shot. Second, we are beginning with infantry, with soldiers. It should be very intuitive, very simple. What we have done is we brought the state of the art technology to make the system as simple as we can. This is what I say behind the secret how it works. So, so uh, this Smash 2000 Plus is a kind of electro-optic sight system, but it does more than just a simple sight system. So, as you rightly mentioned, Mr. Aloni, is it is when the soldier, you know, uh, clicks on the trigger, you know, the, the system will decide when the bullet goes out, right? Yes. What we do, as I mentioned, we, we calculate all the different parameters which are relevant to be able to decide exactly what is the right time and the right place to be it. And we tell the, the user or the soldier where exactly to aim. So he will see uh, symbols on, on, on the view. And it's important to mention that he is looking through the, through the system itself. He can use both eyes. He doesn't need to close one eye. And we will tell him, okay, this is the place you need to be uh, at the right time. And once he reaches that point, only then we will release the trigger and the shot will be fired. So we block the trigger until the exactly right time. Okay. And this, this, this sight system or the Smash 2000 Plus can be fixed onto any assault rifle or does, it, does an assault rifle need to undergo certain modifications for it? In India's case, it would be fixed on the AK-47s and the AK-203 as and when it comes. Yeah, when we have started, I mean, to develop such system, we were aware that defense budget is going down all over the world. Yeah. So it doesn't make any sense to ask to change your arsenal of rifle or your arsenal of ammunition. What we have done, a system which is very flexible, could be mounted on any rifle you may have in your arsenal. Okay. Sometimes there is a need of very small adaptation, we call it. But finally, it should be mounted on any rifle. You don't have to change the rifle. You can use the same ammunition and still have the same efficiency out of this system. We have, uh, up until today, we have integrated with a very large amount of different rifles around the world, different, different ammunition, um, both different calibers, from 556 to 762. Okay. And uh, it is the, the system itself is what we call an add-on. It's pretty much agnostic to the weapon it is uh, integrated into. 
So this can be used not just against moving objects in the air, drones. You know, these are the quadcopters, the smaller drones. But it can also be used in a in a proper fighting scenario also. Yeah. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Um, yes, actually, we started with uh, trying to initiate ground targets. Uh, that was the initial thought be behind the development of the system, uh, because as uh, Abraham mentioned, uh, we saw that there is a major deficiency today in the infantry world, where the soldiers are, are having a lot of trouble hitting the targets. So that was the initial thought. And the idea was that without any need to change the hardware of the system, we only added the software capability to also be able to hit aerial targets, such as a drone and quadcopters. And, and it's very important to note that the system itself is highly robust, meaning we can add additional capabilities to it without the need to actually change the system itself. Yeah, basically there are two basic issues. I mean, the system one, what we said before, we eliminated the deficiency, mainly two main factors. One, the instability of the shooter, and second, the target is not standing, is moving. So we overcame these two deficiencies. We don't care about these two anymore. So as long as you can hit target on the ground, you can do the same in the air. Absolutely. Us, to, to, to eliminate target on the ground or to eliminate the drone, it's more or less the same. Because we don't care about the movement of the target. The system can overcome this issue. The movement is not an issue anymore. You know, uh, so this can also be fixed onto a sniper rifle, or for example, when you're taking out a moving object through a sniper rifle, can this system also be fixed onto a sniper rifle? Basically, as mentioned, it could be uh, also uh, be fixed on sniper rifles. Um, but I, I think it's important to note that because snipers usually have uh, more stable conditions. Usually they, they are fighting when, when, or they're shooting when they're lying down. Yeah. And sometimes they also have better equipment. I think the, the most important part is the, the, let's say the regular infantry soldiers because the they are the ones that are, uh, that have the major problem. So, you know, of course, India, in the Indian Navy has gone in for uh, the Smash 2000 plus. Which are the other countries who are operating this particular system, sir? Uh, what other countries? Okay, so uh, today, first of all, uh, as an Israeli company, uh, as always, the most important uh, customer is the IDF, the Israeli Defense Force. And uh, it has been using the system for quite a while and at large numbers. Uh, we are also highly involved in the U.S., uh, both with the special forces and the army um, and several other uh, countries around the world. Yeah. I, will, I wanted to say a few words about it. Basically, we are changing here doctrine. The way, I mean, the operator is using this system is totally different from what we had before. Now, with the smash, we have basically five modes. You can use the smash, you can fire as is today, what you call fire at will, day, night, and against drone. So my vision that all, all the world in the coming five to 10 years should use this technology, because there is no other way. So far, we are now cooperating with more than, I would say, 15 countries all over the world. So Most of them are in the EU, NATO countries. We mentioned the US, our IDF, few countries in Europe, because basically there is no other way. I said it, I mean, in the beginning, no way to use the rifle as a statistical weapon and not being so precise. So we are bringing here the new doctrine, the new vision, the new era, how to use in another way, the weapon which is called rifle. And it's important to note, I think, that we look at it as something that needs to be on each soldier. It's not uh, like, one in a company or one in a platoon. Each one of the soldiers uh, basically needs to have a system like that to be able to, be, to fight in the, uh, uh, in the battlefield as it is today. Now the training with such a system, with your permission, absolutely. Uh, a few hours, there is no need like today, weeks 
of shooting, shooting, shooting. In five minutes, you are more or less qualified. In two hours, you can go and then get your work. So the defense budget also count very, 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 I mean, efficiently how to train with this system. Well, there is no doubt about the fact that this system is a remarkable uh, system. And uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but in India, uh, besides the Navy, of course, the Army and the BSF are also looking at this MASH 2000? The Indian Army? Yeah. Yes. And, and said, for all armies all over the world, I cannot go into details. Uh, as you probably know, I mean, uh, defense issues are always uh, very sensitive till we have the approval of our colleague. But all over the world, I can tell you, and India is our very friendly country. So we got the approval from our MOD, and we are more than happy, really, to cooperate and to have this system deployed in your army. You know, the Indian, the Indian military is huge. You know, uh, the Indian army, the numbers are very huge. Uh, so is that of the Air Force and the Navy. So when India goes in for this system, is there a scope for make in India? You know, the, the Indian government has been speaking about, has been talking about make in India. And is a make in India venture possible for uh, the Smash 2000 systems? Absolutely. We have cooperated with the local company. I can mention the name of the company, DEFSIS. And we are together planning how to make it uh, make in India, which means to transfer the IP, the technology, in order to produce it in India and to maintain it in India. Even more important, we like the maintenance to be locally, which is very important for the user, for us, and for the army. And we are more than happy to do it. Surely, it is subject to our MOD licenses, yeah. but I have no doubt that with India, with all what we have done with the, our friend in India, that will be okay from all aspects. Okay, so you're saying that the maintenance would surely be done in India by the local partners that you'll have a tie up with. But as far as Make in India is concerned, it will depend on permissions from the Israeli government as well as orders from India. Right. So currently the factory for this is only in Israel or is there a factory other outside Israel, sir? Production. Currently, okay. Okay. Currently we are producing in Israel. Uh, the company, although it's it's a small company, uh, it's not uh, very big, but we do everything in-house from, from marketing through R&D, through the manufacturing itself, all the qualification, all the testing, everything is done here in Israel right now. Um, but as mentioned, uh, one of the possibilities is to make it in other places, such as India, for example. Uh, we are highly open to, to doing that in the near future. Uh, I think it's very important to mention with your permission that uh, all the IP is owned by Smart Shooter. There is nothing under the ITAR regulation, zero. Zero, zero. So we control all the know-how, we control all the IP, we, we own it. So it will be much more, I would say, convenient to transfer the production, maintenance, local production to build in as long as we move to bigger quantities. Surely it depends on the quantity because it should be justified the investment that we are going to invest. Absolutely. Uh, thank you so much uh, for speaking to the print and it is hoped uh, that this system would do wonders uh, for the Indian Armed Forces and we would love to see you open up shop or production facility here in India and may the, you know, the relationship between India and Israel go further. Thank you so much. It is really our pleasure and uh, we are very honored to have India as our partner. Thank you. Thank you very much.